19 weeks ago today, two young people were murdered in Isle of Wight County. Tonight, police still search for the killer. One of the victims was 20-year-old David Nodling of Hampton, and today he would have been 21 years old. Reporter Andy Fox met with his family, and his, he reports now there are no birthday celebrations tonight. I think about him constantly. Life for Judy and Mike Nobling isn't the same anymore. I didn't realize it then, you know, but, you know, I always thought of him as a, a real pain, you know, but, but now I look back and he really wasn't, you know, I mean, he was a really good kid. On September 19th, David, his brother Mike, their cousin Jason, and his friend, 14-year-old Robin Edwards, spent the night driving around town. And then we dropped her off at her house, I think, about 11. And then came back home. Me and Jason stayed here. He was spending the night. And David left back out about an hour later. After David left home, he picked up Robin at her house, and they came here to the Ragged Island Wildlife Area. Police think that during the early morning hours of Sunday, September 20th, David and Robin were ordered out of his truck, and they were marched down this trail at gunpoint. David and Robin were forced to the end of this walkway, and then they were shot in the back of their heads at point-blank range, their bodies thrown into the James River. Three days later, their bodies washed ashore about a half mile from here. By Sunday afternoon, Judy knew something was wrong. David's truck was found with the radio on. And I kept saying, well, where is David? You know, what's going on? And they said, we really don't know. We'll have somebody meet you out there. Judy feared the worse, and the worse was true. Michael says, I'm a recluse now. <laughs> I hardly go out at night. Yeah. Um, She's still out all the time. Yeah. David never graduated high school. He worked at a water purification company. He was a night person. He liked basketball, cars, and fishing. It seems like we've sort of put our life on hold for a while, yeah. you know. And their biggest fear, David and Robin's killer is on the loose. I mean, the murderer is still out there. I mean, I'm terrified to walk the streets at night. I'm afraid to go out at night. I'm certainly afraid to let my, my son go out. They say time slips away slowly. What would you tell him if he was <laughs> listening here? Just that I love him. Judy regrets she never said goodbye to David. Today, he'd be 21. In Hampton, Andy Fox, The Daily News. Coming up, more warm temperatures, but get out the umbrella. Hillary Howard has a mixed bag in the forecast from the Weather Center when we return. Another 30 seconds of common sense. The new Hyundai Excel four-door sedan versus another durable vehicle with a trunk. Both have plenty of room, both come fully carpeted, and both work for peanuts. But how does comparing the XL to an elephant make sense? Because at only $6,020, this XL is the lowest priced four-door sedan in America. And comparing it to anything else with a trunk just wouldn't hold water. Test drive the 1988 XL at your Hampton Roads Hyundai dealer. We sell cars that make sense. Hampton Chevrolet presents the Redman TNT Winter Nationals. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to Hampton Coliseum. Tickets at the box office and all ticket trial outlets. Stop, look, and find just about anything you can imagine. Respawn Shop has the cure for so-so shopping. Browse through their remarkable selection of fine jewelry, necklaces, antique pins and brooches, men's rings, cocktail rings, wedding rings, diamonds, and more. Respawn Shop also offers complete custom design by professional jewelers. Every day's a holiday at Breast Pond Shop, but right now you can save even more during our special Valentine's Day sale. Stop in now for the most irresistible bargains in town. If you're looking for a tough 4x4 with the guts to go all the way, it's got to be a Dodge. Because for 1988, nobody's got a better lineup of 4x4s than your Dodge dealer. From our full-size four-wheel drive Dodge pickups to the mid-size 4x4 Dakota pickup. From our strong sport utility Dodge Ram Charger to the imported Power Ram 50 pickup and imported on off-road Dodge Raider. If you've got to have a 4x4, see your Dodge dealer today. See your Hampton Roads Dodge dealers. You're close to one of us. 
Well, Hillary, we had a warm one today, and we it's sure even did. warmer in this studio. Yeah, it's very I'm not warm say in here. I'm sweating. I'm glowing. <laughs> Am I going to glow tomorrow? <laughs> well, chances are more than likely, yeah. It looks like this warm weather is going to hold on for at least another day or two, but then temperatures are going to drop back. Anyway, tomorrow, this is what we used to call it when I was a kid, the sun will be peeking through the clouds, more clouds than any sunshine. Uh, it's not looking too great out there. In fact, in Hampton Roads right now, it's pretty cloudy, and you can see to the west there are lots of clouds, too, so it doesn't look very hopeful for us. There will seem some sunshine tomorrow, but not a whole lot of sunshine. Now, on a bigger picture, you can see that uh, this quadrant of the country, the eastern quadrant, is just covered with clouds, but there is some clearing, not in the eastern quadrant of the country, of course, but all the way up here in the northern plain states. That's where there is a big Arctic air mass, and it's very, very cold. That air mass is moving in our direction, uh, but it's going to take a little while for it to cool things down here. We have a lot of mild air. It's going to hold off some of that cold, but not forever. The weather's going to be changing. It's going to be getting colder as time goes by. Now, it's pretty interesting because if you take a look at this cold front, you can see some precipitation along it. And the most interesting thing about this is that as that cold front moves along, temperatures are dropping back considerably. Uh, parts of Missouri had temperatures drop back 30 degrees in just one day, so we're talking about a very serious cold front. And again, it is moving our way. There's something else happening. There's a lot of moisture in the Gulf. You can see some showers along that cold front already and the developing low pressure system in uh, New Mexico. That's going to work its way along that frontal system, and that's probably going to be giving us some showers. Showers should hold off tomorrow, but we might start to see some scattered showers by tomorrow night. So if you're going out tomorrow night, you're going to want to take your umbrella and just make sure you're safe. Currently, bay uh, temperature is 39 degrees, and temperatures in Hampton Roads are still very, very mild for this time of year. They're in the 50s, 54 degrees in Hatteras, uh, 58 degrees in Virginia Beach, and 57 degrees in Norfolk. If we take a look at the current conditions in Norfolk right now, you can see what's going on. It is cloudy and 57 degrees, dew point at 51 degrees, humidity 80%. Winds out of the south at 12 miles per hour. Barometer is steady. Had a low of 48 degrees and a high of 69. Tonight, it is going to be mostly cloudy. And we're going to have some lows from 44 to 49 degrees. Uh, winds are going to be out of the southwest. If we can take a look at our picture, there we go. You can see what it's going to be like tonight. Increasingly cloudy. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy day. Still very mild, though. Highs about 65 degrees. And then tomorrow night is when we might start to see some shower activity. Lows tomorrow night at 50 degrees. Still have a southwesterly wind flow. Now, by the time Tuesday rolls around, we still have that chance of a shower, but still very mild out there. Highs in the 60s. Toward the end of the week, those temperatures do begin to drop back. So uh, enjoy the warm weather while you can, even if we do have some showers. And again, there is a chance of a shower on Tuesday and on Wednesday, but it should be clearing up toward the end of the week and a little cooler. Well, not bad at all, as long as it's warm tomorrow. <laughs> as long as it's warm tomorrow, it'll be warm tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Hillary. We'll see you next week. And coming up, a big win for the Redskins, but is that really a surprise? We'll hear all the gory details of the Bronco bashing from John Castleberry when we come back. Super Bowl week means super deals here at Bill Lewis Chevrolet. Through Monday, if you take a test drive, we'll give you a free Redskins hat or one of theirs. If you buy that car, we'll give you a free Redskins jacket or one of theirs. For example, buy this new S10 pickup, put just $149 down, your payment's just $149 a month, and you get a free Redskins jacket. But if you buy and you really want a Bronco jacket, we'll give you one. The heartbeat of Hampton Road. Lewis Chevrolet. You can't drive, you can't read, you have cataracts. Don't live in a gray, cloudy world. Call the Center for Sight. Using advanced technology, our eye surgeons safely remove cataracts, putting your life back in focus. Call 398-4457, and we'll help you find a doctor and arrange an assessment. The Center for Sight, a service of Portsmouth General Hospital. We only care about two things, your eyes. <laughs> We're gonna bring on the beef, spread on the cheddar, McDonald's cheddar melt. First, we bring on the beef, spread on the cheddar, bold and saucy. Mm. Much better now. Grill up the onion, stack it on a rye bun. Cheddar melt for a limited time. So come on, all together say, bring on the beef, spread on the cheddar. It's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. Just a dollar thirty-nine for a limited time. I've never settled for mediocre, and I don't plan to change. That's why I went to a Jeep Eagle dealer, and I'm glad I did for a lot of reasons. Like the 1988 Eagle Premier, the sophisticated new car with more standard horsepower and interior room than four Taurus, plus a longer powertrain warranty. Eagle Premier. See it at your Jeep Eagle dealer. Hey, 
Never settle. Get what you expect. See your Hampton Roads Jeep Eagle dealers.